Okay, so let's, uh, let, let's hit on another topic here. Uh, this is something that you created a video about recently and something that I, I think that we've had a discussion about on previous uh, live streams that we've done, which is Tesla licensing out their battery and drivetrain to other automakers. Um, I'm curious to get your sort of hot take on that. Um, do you think it's likely? There seems to be a lot of chatter about it. Yeah, the, the hot take, I think, is me reading in between the lines on the conference call and there being a 30-second silence after Adam Jonas's fill-in asked them if they would be willing to do this. And then they basically said, yes, we'd be willing to do this. So that's interesting on a lot of levels because uh, it's like, okay, Tesla's strugg struggling to get capacity for their own electric skateboard to make you know their supply constrained for their batteries. So for them to already talk about licensing them out to other companies, really left me scratching my head and it's interesting about like where are they going to be building these because as far as i know tesla will have its own capacity then a week later that same analyst adam jonas or his team goes on the fiat conference call and asks the fiat ceo if he would buy stuff from tesla because they already have this partnership to offset the credits where uh, tesla is buying a ton of uh or i guess fiat is buying a ton of credits from tesla and he basically admitted that yes we'd be interested in buying tesla's electric skateboard and batteries and so I don't know. There's a lot of rumors swirling. And I think the, you know, Maddie Mogul's research of his efficiency chart shows. And I think your research shows when we were at Monroe and Associates, like it's clear, not only is this by far the most efficient and longest range battery skateboard on the market, but it's probably the cheapest. Um, and so I think almost everyone is desperate for this technology and whether Tesla wants to use it for their own cars or someone else's, I don't know, but I'm kind of curious your take of how do you think, you know, this is all going to play out? Yeah, I, you know, I was after, after you did the video or after I saw the chatter online about about this potential, I was sort of recalling maybe a conversation that we had. It might have been something on your channel. It might have been even the last one where, where we did sort of an interview style thing where I sort of proposed this idea that Tesla should sell their their generation one battery cells to their automakers because no one's been able to top their generation one batteries that were in the 2012 Model S, right? The, the, the you know, 75, 75 kilowatt hour, 85 kilowatt hour battery pack that does 263 miles of range. No one still to date has beat that with a production vehicle. I think people are getting close, but um, you know, you're, you're seeing some of this similar range at a far larger battery pack. So to me, I like the idea as a potential revenue stream for Tesla, number one. I don't think that they would sell their Maxwell technology to their competitors. Um, I think that that would give away too much of a competitive advantage. However, generation one or maybe generation two batteries that are being produced by Panasonic, to me, that makes a lot of sense. I think that they, Tesla does have some secret sauce in there that, that does make it, as you said, not only um, more energy dense, but, but just less expensive overall to produce the battery cells. Uh, you know, I, I think maybe a concern of mine is does Tesla have the does Tesla have the capacity to be able to facilitate this amongst all of the other priorities that they have? Um, right now, they've got one place, I guess technically one and a half places that they're making their batteries. Right, they've got Sparks, Nevada at Gigafactory One. My understanding is is that they're making uh, the 18650s in Japan, the ones that, that they're putting into the Model S and X, that may go away at some point very soon, um, but that's just speculation. My understanding is, is that they're also building um, uh, a, battery, a battery production facility in Shanghai for, for Giga 3. And then it, it appears like the, the model moving forward is going to be at every Gigafactory is also going to be battery cell production. So I could see them addressing that, that issue of do they have the capacity uh, by making sure that each one of these gigafactories on these various continents does have the ability pr to produce battery cells, which then they can resell to any automotive maker. So I do like that. I, if, if they do that, um, there is that revenue potential, which I think could be pretty significant, especially knowing how these other automakers have not been able to compete with range and energy density uh, to date. Um, and, and then I think that, that, that the Maxwell piece of this will probably, they will probably not resell or, or outsource. I think it's just too good. It's too new. It's too fresh. And I think that it would give away some serious competitive advantage um, if they did that. Yep. And a couple of predictions. I would say Gigafactory 4 is very interesting to watch because that's the next factory to get announced. 
do they bring in a German partner? I'm almost 100% sure it's going to be Germany. Just look at a map of Europe about where this is going to be. And do they bring in Volkswagen? Do they partner with another German company to, you know, get some of the skateboards out of that factory? I don't know. I, I think the chances are low, but that could totally happen. Battery Investor Day, do they announce a deal to license out their battery electric skateboard? That could be another possibility. But I think at a high level, like what you're saying, we're, we're freaking out because we're like, Tesla's developing their own battery cells, which are even better than what they have on the market. So we don't want them to give those away. What's really happening is people, you know, we've been saying this forever, but the skeptics are like, why can't someone copy Tesla? Why is this battery tech so hard, you know, can't everybody else do it essentially? And now we're realizing like, no, they can't. This was going to be, if this actually happens, the amount of validation this goes to for Tesla of Volkswagen or Fiat Chrysler saying we have to buy all our electric skateboards from you guys. I mean, this is as big as it gets in terms of validating the tech and Tesla's lead.